Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we're going to talk about putting tiles on the toe kick area on the, on the lower part of the cabinet. Now you have alternatives when you purchase cabinets or if you just want to upgrade them. You could put a piece of wood across there and then face nail it and you'll be good. You could put on that rubberized um, um, molding that goes on the bottom. Uh, you, you glue it on there and then that would be as good as well. But in this case, we're going to put on tiles. We want to have the tiles match the floor, so that way the floor and the back toe kick area are exactly the same. So let me show you what kind of tools you're going to need, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this job done. Um, I will tell you this, you can use, uh, I, I will not be using the wet saw in the house, because a wet saw, as you know, is a little bit messy. So I will be using it outside on a grassy area, because when you do a... Uh, a wet store, it does throw a lot of water around, so it does make a little bit of a mess. So we're going to do that part of it outside. You can, if you have a wet saw. If you don't have a wet saw, you can pick up in the big box stores the tile cutters they have uh, that you can cut these tiles with. It's a manual hand strike type uh, tile cutter, and it does a job just as well. A little more difficult to do any kind of intricate cutting with it, but you can still get it done. This is what tools you're going to really need. Uh, we're going to need some kind of a, uh, uh, an adhesive to hold the tiles on the wall. We're going to need a trowel with a fairly large notch to put the glue on the back of the tiles. A couple of um, tools here to actually take the glue out of the bucket. And these are actually pliers that are made to chip away and take out little sections of the, uh, of the tile as needed. Uh, and the reason we may need to use this is because down on the bottom over here, you see where the two cabinets come together right here? Where the two cabinets come together, obviously it's a piece of wood right up inside here. And if you want to get the tile up, up above that, we need to notch it out so it could fit in there a little bit better. All right, so uh, let me uh, grab some tiles. I'm going to make the uh, measurements I'm going to need, and then we're going to go outside and we're going to cut it. And uh, then I'll, I'll measure out this here, and we'll cut that too, and uh, we'll... Uh, We'll cut out the tile for that, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to put tiles all along the bottom right here, so that way it'll match the floor. We're going to leave a little bit of a space in here, so we can put grout inside here as well, but uh, that's what we're going to do. All right, so, uh, all right, let's go outside, and uh, we'll make our cuts, and then we'll come back, and we'll put this together. All right, so we're ready to go outside now, and we're going to cut our tiles to our desired length. Uh, we did go inside, we measured underneath the cabinets, we actually drew across here a line so we know where we're going to be cutting. Um, we are going to use a wet saw outside, like I said, because inside it makes quite a mess. It throws a lot of water around and we don't want to make a mess inside the, uh, the garage. I'll show you how to use those, those pliers to actually uh, to chip away at the tile as well. Alright, so let's get outside and uh, let's cut some tiles. Okay, so uh, we have our tiles cut now, and uh, we actually cut, we marked our tile here where we need to, to cut it across. You know, we put these marks down in here, and we cut it down this way, but you can't get in here with a tile saw to cut along there, and that's when something like these come in handy. These actually uh, chip away at the tile, and you can, you can, um, you could uh, cut it out the way you need to fit around the two cabinets. All right, so first thing we're going to do is I will tell you this, wear your safety goggles because when you try to chip away at these tiles, sometimes pieces do go flying. So uh, let me show you how it works. What I always do, instead of cutting all the way across like this, which is a little bit difficult to do, you can just take a little bit at a time, just like this, and you can chip away at it. Just like that, okay? Just little pieces at a time. You don't want to do it too much. Now, if you're doing this in a house, of course, you want to be careful where your tile pieces are going because you will have to pick those up.
and you saw me turn them over because you see that they're offset just a little bit like that. We do the same thing right here, just like that. So now we have a nice straight line through here. Now, if this was going to be showing, you could take a stone and you could file this down to make it a perfectly clean cut. In this case, it's going to be hidden all the way up where you're never going to see it unless you're laying on the floor trying to peek up underneath the cabinet. So this is good enough for what we need right now. All right, so uh, that's it. So we're going to do two more of these because I need to cut two more the same way. And as soon as I get them cut, we're going to go inside and we're going to put these tiles on and we're going to get this job wrapped up. So uh, all right, stick around. Okay, now we have all of the, the, uh, the tiles cut to put onto the back over here, and you can see we have them all notched out here as well. We just laid everything out exactly how it's going to go, so we know how to, where the tiles are going to go. All right, now, this is personal preference. I'm not going to use it in this case, but if you wanted to make a space between the tile a certain distance, this adhesive actually holds very well. But if you wanted to try to hold the tile in a certain distance, you would actually come in here with whatever size you wanted. This one here I think is 3 16 This is quarter inch. And these are actually, they sell these as well in all the big box stores too. These are wedges so that when you take the, um, the, the tile and you lift it up against here and you put the adhesive on the back, you could put the wedge underneath here like this to actually hold the tile in place when you sit the tile on top of it. I can't do that one, but this is the way it would go. It would go like this on top of the wedge if you choose to use these. I'm not going to use these because the, the adhesive actually holds these tiles on really pretty well without the adhesive. Uh, the other thing you're going to do too is, and this is again personal preference, if you want to set them by eye, you can do that because there's only the back uh, kick area. If you want to use uh, spacers, you put the spacers in here like this, and you can actually set your distance between one tile and the next. So once they're stuck up on the wall, you would, or on the toe kick I should say underneath here, you would put these in there to keep the distance here set to a quarter inch or whatever you decided to. Uh, I'm probably not going to use these either. I'm just going to go by eye because, uh, like I said, it's only underneath here. But if you were laying out a whole floor, then you would uh, you'd want to use these in between each one of the tiles so that you have a perfect line here, here, and here. But that's not the case here. Uh, another thing you can do too is you can use these. Instead of, if you don't have these wedges, you can take these and you can just cut it like this and you could use it in here as a spacer for where the tile is going to go. But again, I'm not going to do that either because it's only a very small area. So, all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take each one of the tiles. We're going to take them like this, turn them over, of course. We're going to put the adhesive on the back here and then we're going to use our trowel like that, the notched trowel, to actually, you know, notch out the, uh, the adhesive on the back, and then we're going to stick it up. All right, it sounds easy, and it's really not that bad, so, uh, all right, let's continue. This is our first tile, so we're just going to take it, and we're going to, I use a, uh, I'm not going to use those either, I just use a, a spackle knife to take some of this on here, like that, and spread it on. You could use the trowel if you, if you choose to. But this is the way I just do it, put it on here like that, so that it coach the entire tile itself. All right? Come over on the side here. I will do the exact same thing. We're putting on a lot more than we need to because we're going to travel off some of it. Just like that. And you just take the trowel like this. And I usually go from left to right, so we're just going to do this. I always clean off that little bit right up on the top right here, because when you put this up in here, it's going to squish out a little bit, and this avoids making a mess. 
for me it takes a second, but it saves from having to clean up a little bit later on. Alright, so now that we have that done, we take our, our tile like this, and we take it up here. Stick it on, and you just move it around a little bit just to get the uh, the adhesive spread around. All right, and then we set it to the distance we want it, and you can see it pretty much stays right there. And then we'll take our second tile out. Now I do want to point this out: the cut part here is facing up. The uncut part here, here, and here is what faces down on the floor. Not too important, but that's just the way I did it. Like this. Now this is the flat end that was not cut, and this is the end that was cut. So that end we're going to put up. Again, just stick it to the uh, to the toe kick area, and you just move it around a little bit, just to get the adhesive spread around. And then you would actually just set it to where you want it. And then, if you chose to use these, you would put them in here like this, like that, and you could set your distance in between the tiles like that. Okay. But you can go by eye with this one because it is such a small area. Okay. Take our other one now. Okay, now that we have everything put in, in place where it's supposed to be, if the tiles slide or you need to move them around a little bit, now is the time you want to do it. Once they dry, uh, then they're pretty much set uh, and they're not going to be moved any longer. Alright, so you see uh, putting the tiles on the back on the toe kick area is really not that difficult. We're going to let the, uh, the adhesive dry for a couple of days. We have to check the manufacturer and see what they recommend as far as the drying interval before you put the grout into the joints. But that's it. Toe kicks are all done. This job is finished for today. Uh, I will tell you this. If you have any kind of uh, the, the, uh, the glue on your equipment, you want to make sure you clean it up at this point because once it dries on there, it's going to be on like cement. So that makes it very difficult to clean. Any, any um, adhesive that you have on anywhere else, on the tiles, on the cabinets, or wherever, you want to clean it before it sets. That's it. All right, so once it dries, we'll come back and we'll grout it. And that's it. The uh, toe kick is done. And it'll match in with the floor as if it was never uh, never disturbed, like as, uh, like as if it was always part of the entire job. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.